Good afternoon. I hope you had some good lunch. Now, um, today our, our topic is to be or not to be, which I think today, particularly in Hong Kong situation, is probably fits you know, this historical moment very well. So I guess you know, every time I go on the street, I ask myself, to be or not to be, do I bring out a yellow umbrella or do I not bring out a yellow umbrella? Um, well, I think you know, whether you want to be or you, whether you want not to be, you know, I think the key thing is whether you have the courage to change, to change a society, to change our future. Now, to me, change has to first come from within. So I first ask myself, how do I change myself? How do I have the inner strength to change myself? So, um, so I started running. Uh, in fact, you know, you might not notice, you know, I, today I think I look in, you know, reasonably fit and all. But uh, four years ago, you know, I, um, I wasn't an athlete at all. I had not been running. I had not been exercising at all throughout my life. I was hopefully not like some of you. Uh, you know, I was always sitting down. I was watching TVs. I was doing this. I was doing that. But I never, ever exercised. Uh, until four years ago, when I was almost 40 years old, I started running. Uh, and now, obviously, I run to many different places. Um, and running really gave me, I think, a lot. A uh, couple of stories I'd like to share with you. Um, you know, it's, it's very easy. It's very convenient. And most importantly, it's very, very cheap. You know, you just can go run. If you have a pair of shoes, wear that pair of shoes, go run. If you don't like shoes, that's fine too. You know, the f most fashionable running today is called barefoot running. So you can just run without your shoes. And supposing that's better even for your forms. Now, I went to a place called uh, the Gobi Desert uh, a couple of years ago, uh, and I ran with a couple of my friends. We did 250 kilometers. So what does that mean? That means you run four days. Uh, each day, you run practically one marathon. Uh, and then on the fifth day, you run 80 kilometers, so two marathons uh, in one shot. How do we do that? It's very painful, I can, I can tell you. You know, every time when I stop for water, I felt like, why am I doing this? This is so painful. Now, but then every time I pick myself up and I run again, after five minutes, you feel like, oh, you know what? I can do this again. <laughs> so that's what we, what we want to do. Change yourself. Change your perception. It's actually not that painful. Um, I did three marathons. I did, I did uh, Tokyo. I did uh, uh, in U.S. San Francisco. And I also did one in UK, in Brighton. Now, I, I started running, which changed myself. I become more determined. You know, I, can, I feel like I can do things. Uh, and, and somehow I started, um, you know, last year uh, in August. So I told myself I wanted to be a vegetarian because that's healthier and that's better for the environment. So I turned vegetarian overnight. Uh, and I, put it, I kept, kept it that way until today. Uh, hopefully, I will keep, continue to keep it on. So after changing myself, I felt like, well, if I can do it, you know, a lot of you can do it too. So we started, you know, a program uh, through Run Out City called Youth, uh, uh, Youth Run Out City. So we challenge you dare to run. Uh, using my own example, we go and challenge youth and say, you know what? You can also go from zero to 10K at least in only eight weeks. So we test our model. Uh, this is Gam Zai. Now Gam Zai, he started just like me, you know, when he first started, he said, well, you know, I cannot run. There's no way. I'm maximum, I can do two minutes. So don't ask me to run. But subsequently, you know, not only he can run, but, you know, earlier this year, he joined in one of our race events. It's a 10 kilometers race. He actually came seventh in his age category. And now he's training himself for his first marathon. And throughout the process, you can see in the background here, this is an uh, a interview a, um, uh, from the TVB program, uh, Tuesday File, Sing It Yidong On. So he said, you know, after running, he actually become calmer. You know, he came from a very um, complex family background. So he always tried to, you know, refuse people. He always tried not to build relationship, not having connections with people. But actually, after running, you know, he felt like, if I can do this, then for sure, I can also talk to people. So that's the biggest change that we have witnessed through Gam Zai. And same thing happened to Gam Fong. You know, he went to a normal uh, 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 secondary school. Similarly, 
you know, he was very arrogant, according to his friends. You know, his friends said when he played basketball, he never passed. He always go and shoot himself. Um, but after running, he started to passing balls. So, so that's, uh, you know, at least a couple of cases that we've seen through real-life changes. And we believe if we can change ourselves, a lot of us can also change. And this program, we have so far trained about 250 young people. And this year, by the end of this year, we would have trained 500 uh, young people aged from 13 to 20. Uh, and we're now having about 80% success rate. So if you're interested, go back to your school. Tell your school you want to do this. We'll come after you. And you can come run with us too. So after, after doing this for, uh, for over a year, um, we have also started doing something else to make running not just catering for personal and not just for the young people, but also for the community as a whole. So like I said, we said, how do we change? We need the courage to change. How do I go through the change process? I went through from changing myself. I went through from changing some individuals. And now let's challenge, let's take it on to our society. So we started to promote this um, street running culture. Has anyone run in the street before? Anyone? Only those in the first rows. All right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Well, perhaps we can go out and run now. We still have five minutes. <laughs> so, um, so what we did was, you know, we, we set up the, the company or organization, you name it. It's uh, in a form of social enterprise, a very fashionable word these days. So what we did, we used the Youth Run program to deliver our social impact. But in the meantime, we set up a race organization, a race company, uh, to basically provide us with sustainability, but also to make running very cool. Now, if some of you has ever run in the Hong Kong races, you will notice, one, they all started very, very early, 5.30, 6 o'clock. And two, they're generally in very remote place. You know, every year I join in a half marathon race. After finishing the half marathon, I go home, my wife and kids would, hit, you know, would be just waking up. So that's how early it is. Now, our race, the first race was in Guntong, Kaolongdong, uh, Kowloon East. So we attracted 5,000 runners, 10,000 uh, carnival goers, so that's another thing. Only our race has carnivals, you know. After the race, we don't ask you to oh, go home, go, 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 don't block the traffic. Right? We say, stay back, let's have fun, let's, let's, you know, let's uh, celebrate this event, let's, uh, let's talk to our family, let's use this as an event to celebrate a spirit of endurance. That's what we want to do. We want more people to see running that's not just sort of boring and kind of, you know, the middle age kind of thing. No. You know, it's very cool. It can be cool. And also, we, we use all the proceeds, all our net proceeds, we donate it to charitable uh, courses. So we donate it partly to support our youth street run programs, but we also donate it partly to three organizations in Kowloon East. So that's what we want to promote. We want you to go out to the street, run. We want you to use running to change yourself. But most importantly, we want to use running, engage our community. If we don't know our community, how do we go and love it? We want to use running to engage our community. We want our community to also think in a more charitable way, in a more compassionate way, in a more you know, entertaining way. It can be very fun. So here we go. Let me show you some pictures. If this thing works, now it works. Okay, so these are some of the pictures from our run, our races. You know, it's not just a running itself. It's beyond the runners. You know, it's the spectators. It's the performance along the route. It's the uniforms. Uh, we also give people personalized bib. You know, the runners, they have this thing on their, you know, on their chest that says 92350, you know, kind of like a prisoner thing, just to distinguish you. Well, you know, we still give them the 92360, but we said you can also write your name on it. Or you can write whatever, you know. The best uh, thing I've seen is someone said, uh, you know, I couldn't register for Standard Chartered Marathon. <laughs> Boom, don't zama. So, you know, that was a, you know, that was real. And then we have concerts, you know, give me five concerts. Uh, and then we have also the carnival. Uh, this is the second race we, we organize. It's called Totem Run, uh, which it just happened uh, in October. So this race in particular, we apply a concept called Charity for Charity. So basically what it does is every single dollar raised uh, in this particular race 
we donated completely to the Christian Jing Sang Xu Yun uh, for their, you know, for a very urgent uh, construction project they, they're undergoing to rebuild the campus. So we have also a bunch of students, and this race is quite tough because, uh, you know, we have two categories. One is 16 kilometers, which uh, I join uh, with my two kids, um, but the other one is 57 kilometers in 16 hours, so very tough. All right. Please work. All right, it does. So, you know, drums and everything. Um, so I think that um, I'd like to conclude um, my presentation and to share with you sort of one last of my thought. You know, I think for anyone to change, once again, to be or not to be, do you bring a yellow umbrella today? I think, again, it takes a lot of courage. And always ask yourself, where does your courage come from? How do you sustain it? To be for two hours is very easy. To be for a year is very difficult. To be for your life, to pursue your dream unrelentingly, in a persistent way, it takes not just courage, but also stamina. So in my case, through running, I found those things. I hope one day you will find that too. Thank you. <laughs>